This afternoon, approximately 10,000 protesters gathered at Jack Poole Plaza as part of the Black Lives Matter movement. At the event, BIPOC speakers shared personal stories about their experiences of dealing with racism right here in Canada. This protest was inspired by the murder of George Floyd earlier this year while in police custody. The protests are expected to continue despite being in our third month of the pandemic. They look at the rioting without understanding why people are angry. I mean, I get that, but should they really be rioting right now? How can you even say that? Black people are being murdered at the hands of the police and we are doing nothing. Yeah, well, people are dying from a crazy Chinese flu as well. Oh, <laughs> take that back. Okay, I take it back. That was too far. But the point is valid. I mean, we are three months into a pandemic that seems like it will never end. This is not the time for people to gather, you know, in huge groups outside. With the courts shut down, I haven't gone into work for three months. Do we really want the jails full at this time with protesters? I don't understand how this isn't affecting you. Of course it's affecting me. I mean, but there are other ways to deal with this that don't put other people at risk. That's all I'm saying. You are so frustrating. Hold on, I'm getting a drink. According to people fleeing Jack Poole Plaza, the protests have turned disastrous as police officers in full riot gear have entered the scene. Please be advised that what we are about to show you is difficult to watch. You may want young children to leave the room. Oh my God, this is becoming a huge thing. It's getting scary. You need to find out what's happening. You need to get down to the station and help these people. Why, why should I? I mean, they're arresting protesters. They shouldn't have been out there in the first place. There's a mandate in place. People are not supposed to gather in big groups. So they're breaking the law. They deserve whatever's coming to them. That's all I'm saying. You are a lawyer, Netanyahu Kidana. You help people when they break the law. Not this time. I mean, it's hard enough that you and me have to be separated because of this. Can you imagine if one of us caught this thing like right now? Okay. Hello. Speaking. Yeah, we've got the news on now. I see. I understand. No, I'm not leaving. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not leaving the house right now. Yeah, I hear you. But I'm not leaving the house right now because we're in the middle of a pandemic. And I'm following whatever the health minister says. What language does he speak? Yes, I do. Who is it? It's one of the protesters. Someone from Eritrea has been arrested and they don't speak English. Where are they holding him right now? Isn't there another lawyer who can help? Call me back in five minutes, will you? Listen, there are people who need your help. Why are you so against them? I'm not against them. Look at me. Obviously, what they're doing is important. But I'm tired. I'm scared, honey. I just want us to be safe. But how can you think we are safe when this is happening literally outside our door? It's only through this kind of protesting that we can begin to believe we will be safe. They look at the rioting without understanding why people are angry. I mean, I know why they're angry. It's because they don't look at us as individuals. All they see is a angry black crowd. I mean, they're scared. And so are you. So how are you going to keep us safe? Hello?